Hey guys, Sean Lux here, back with our blind playthrough of System Shock 2. So I was thinking about last time, right, where we, um... So last time we blew up the two shuttles, and then Shodan's like, okay, now go to the Rickenbacker, go through the umbilical. <clears throat> and, um... There's Jack. And, uh, she's like, no, 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 don't go in there, don't go into that other cargo bay. And I was thinking, like... I don't think this game has multiple endings, but I suppose it could. Now with Bioshock, it was basically the same game, just good and bad endings or different versions of the same ending. Depending on which, you know, in two it was always, you know, different versions and the first one it was more, more good and bad. Um, I don't, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I mean, I'm going to go and try and link up with What's-Her-Face. Although I assume she's dead. Shodan... Shodan's like... Where? Oh! Okay. I was thinking, because she was so close, I thought... Oh, Jack. I love you, but now is not the greatest time to jump up in front of the monitor. Are you okay? Are you alright? Please don't barf. Are you about to... Oh god, why do I think you're about to barf? Okay, how about we get into my lap? Let's get into the lap. He's been barfing lately, that's why I'm a little... Like last episode... Basically an hour ago. Come on. I was, uh, he was in this chair, the chair that I'm normally in, I'm just like, I'm gonna let him have it so he can, you know, sleep or, or whatever. And, uh... But then he got out and drank some water, and I was like, alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my, uh... Take my chair back, but the fact that he drank some water now I'm like, you know, and he got up here and he was like smacking his lips and stuff, and I'm like, last time you did that, you decided you wanted to try and barf right on the keyboard. So we'll just uh maybe watch him here for a second. Would you um I love you. Would you like to lay down? Normally he does this when he wants food, and then sometimes he just wants attention, so... I mean, they have food out, and it's fresh, too. Like, part of the reason I think he's been... Sorry, microphone issues. Or noise. Part of the issue, I think he was barfing earlier, and I guess yesterday as well, was... Uh, I put food out for him, and then it's like the dry... The dry stuff. We switched from the wet back to the dry... And then, um, they, I was expecting to be, like, I was on call the last couple days, so I was expecting it to be, like, 12-hour days, uh, and then yesterday was not. Yesterday was a normal day, so I get back, and I'd put out food for them, and, you know, they didn't eat it, and I get back, and they're like, oh, good, we want to be fed, but we don't want that food, though. I'm like, no, you're gonna, you're gonna eat it. I'm not going to give you fresh food just because you're being picky. So they didn't really get any new food and they didn't really want to eat the old food, especially Jack. And then so he drank, you know, he's been drinking water and then he's like, blurg, barfs water everywhere. I'm just like, just because you don't want to eat, little jerk. So today, I think after he barfed again, I was like, all right, let me just toss that food. And <laughs> I'll give you fresh stuff. And he, he seemed to like that and keep it down. So that's, I'm like, okay, fine. But now, three hours later, he doesn't want to eat the food that he didn't finish eating earlier. And it's like, that's not dry. It's not stale yet, you little dork. Okay, how about you get in my lap? I know, I know what you're doing right now, but 
Okay, come on, come on. In the lab. I don't want to... Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Do you have to do this whenever I record? I love you. I love you. Would you like to maybe maybe sit? You could sit. You can't see him, but he's right. I mean, you can kind of see him. You can see, like, right here, right there. All right. Would you... Would you lay down or sit or something? No? No, you're not? Hmm. So how are you guys doing? <laughs> uh, I love you, Jack. I do. Do you... Listen. Listen, you. Okay, how about this? How about this? I will feed you as soon as I'm done recording this episode. And you're wasting time. You're wasting their time. I mean, technically I am, but we're going to blame you because I don't edit these videos. Or I don't I don't cut stuff out of the videos. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Okay, a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Okay, how about we do this? Pick you up. Oh, baby. Oh, little baby. Okay. Would you... Oh, see, now you want to be held a little bit. Let's go up here. Let's go up onto the back of the chair. Then you can stay up there and not stay up there, you little dork. Okay. I mean, I guess I'm, I guess I'm pleased that they want to be around me all the time, but I feel like he wants to get fed right now. Call it a hunch. Call it a hunch. You want some beer, Jack? You can't have it. You can't have it. Could you? <sighs> Thank you for rubbing your face against the microphone. They'll they'll appreciate that. I, f I feel their desires, and I know that what they desired most right then was cat face on microphone. Okay. Come on, into the lap. Into the lap. And then lay down like a good boy. Which you are not. But... <laughs> oh, you. Okay, look. Lay down, please. And then I'll feed you, alright? What is this? What was that black thing? <sighs> come on, come on, please, 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 please. Listen, if I have to put you over to the side on the chair, I will because we're at like 10 minutes and I've like walked forward three steps. Technically, I got jump scared by a cyborg midwife as well, but we won't we won't count that because I'm super cool. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Great. Great. Good times. Okay. Oh, you. I'm glad you're purring, though, at least. Oh, now you're. we're doing this thing, huh? We're doing that. Yeah, so I was actually thinking a little bit more about the game. I mean, obviously, I don't know if there's multiple endings or not. That's not something... Um, I mean, usually when I when I start this, I make like a little uh, list of tags. And I just go to the Steam store or whatever and... Oh gosh, now there's hair floating everywhere. Um, and I look at their tags. Or... The user-defined tags. And I... Then again, this is on GOG. Uh, technically, it's on Steam as well, but I I bought it on GOG. So I don't know if... I don't remember a multiple endings tag. It might have been there, but... Excuse me, Mr. Cat. 
would you not be a butt? Right now, save your being a butt for like 40 more minutes. Because at this rate... Oh, I do love you. <laughs> it's like such a dismissal. It's like, I love you. You're an asshole. Ugh, come on, please. Look. Okay, how about... Look, get in my lap. I will move you if I have to, you dork. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know about the multiple endings. Uh, but also... I totally lost my train of thought. I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, I guess that there's no... In the original, it was more... It felt more like a... Uh, you know, chess match between the player and Shodan. You know, the first goal you got, I think, was like, stop the mining laser. Here, the first goal you got was power the elevator. You know, and, and that's kind of... That's why it feels this one. Like the the gameplay, the gunplay and stuff, way smoother. Way smoother. Um, you know, it's not, it's not a sim. Like, I think the original was trying to go for, like, a simulation-style interface, and this is not. Okay, lay down, please. Oh, good. Are we laying down? Oh, good, we are. Okay, good. Sort of. Butt is still elevated. Okay, I'm gonna... Alright, lay the butt down. So yeah, it's kind of different different priorities. Like, I'm trying to figure out... <clears throat> like, what's the gameplay loop? What's the story? There's another cyborg midwife. Somewhere. Where... Where are you, though? Up? See, that's why... Where did she go? Don't worry about it. I need to get up. Missing all the fun. Oh, there it is. <coughs> Excuse me, Jack. Don't go... Where? There's another egg. There she is. That works. There was another one? You know, I noticed she didn't, um... Shodan hasn't said, oh, you can move the little ones. That's interesting. Not what I expected, but interesting nonetheless. But maybe I haven't accomplished in here what she thought I would, or... Something, I don't know. But yeah, so like the enemy is the elevator. Or the enemy is the environment, not... You know, it's not Shodan at first, it's, it's Xerxes, but Xerxes doesn't seem like the real threat. Because the, the big obstacle is, you know, power the elevator. Which is not... Hey, buddy. Which, it, you know... Wait. Oh, shit, did it... I guess... Oh. Well. Right, I forgot about that. So why... Did I miss something in here? Are you going elsewhere now, Jack, after being such a pain in the butt for so long? I... So where is... It's Delacroix. That's the chick. 
that I was supposed to meet in here, presumably, but... What we're gonna do, actually, is... We're gonna go back to the other one. Well, we can't open that door. I don't see any hidden... Oh, did we check this? No, we didn't. Delacroix, yep. Right. Well, okay, so it doesn't actually affect anything except it gives you a little bit of lore about Shodan. I hope you enjoyed our little rebellion, irritant. But remember what, what, what Shodan gives. She is more than able to take away. That's kind of bullshit, but okay. Uh, wonderful. Yeah. Like, so what if you... What if you couldn't hack that? What if you didn't have the hundred credits needed to purchase that thing? You know what I mean? Oh, this is the wrong way. Wait, where am I going? Also, that's kind of BS that she can just take the ten cyber modules back that... At least we're getting some bullets, shotgun bullets anyway. Didn't expect that, not super surprised. I guess the other question is why is the many, why did they not? Well, they. I guess at the beginning they asked me to work with them. But at the same time, they've been trying to kill us. So, you know. I heard it. Whereas from above? Which way? Oh! I may have to switch to... Oh yeah, we're out of ammo for reload. May have to switch to regular, uh... Well, the shotgun, I suppose. That sounds like a protocol droid as well. Switch to the... Do I want to switch? What do I have? 57 cyber modules? That's stats. I mean, I could increase my endurance or cyber. Also, lessens number of dangerous nodes. That could actually be helpful. Or endurance. Eh. I'm still semi-tempted to put points into the 
heavy so that I could use all this stuff, but... But, you know. What? Decide to just come from behind me, eh? Hi there. Please make your selection. Mm. We could do standard bullets. That might actually be the best move. Hi there. Please make your selection. Oh, come on. That was a close one. Hi there. Thank you for making your selection for choosing value wrap. Well, that works for me. All right, let's... <sighs> let's go, I suppose. And average. Right, and we don't... Okay, I heard noise. So it has to be above us. Or was it right there? Oh. Come and meet us on the bridge of the Von Braun. Let us discuss your future. Was that the many? Meet us on the bridge of the Von Braun. Let us discuss your future. What is this, a warp gate or something, or a force field? I'm guessing it's a force field. Yep. Meet us on the bridge of the Von Braun and we'll discuss your future. Got it. Well, maybe, I mean, you know, don't keep trying to kill me, how about, and I'd be more amenable to your... And at this point, I mean, this is complaining, sure, but... Oh, wonderful. Maybe it can't get onto this thing, which is good. Uh, maybe it's complaining, but it feels like... <sighs> this doesn't really feel climactic. It feels like busy work. Go here, go there, or just like, um, like it's trying to lengthen the game. Hi there. Please make your selection. I hear you. And I assume that's Korenchkin. I see. I heard... Yeah. <clears throat> Sounds like a robot. Let me take another drink and then we'll see what's going on. Because obviously it's a trap. Xerxes requesting something something. Oh, is that Krenchkin? Oh, yeah. Oh, he... Where is he now? Because I assume he's not dead. Kind of disappointing, actually. I was hoping he was dead, but...
Maybe he's down there. I thought... Wait, is that him? It's a brain, right? Wait. So he's down there, but this thing I have to destroy. Presumably he keeps coming back if this is not destroyed. Well, let's look at what the... Audio log Krenchkin. Suarez and his whore want to escape. I do not understand. They get Athent and Lyrica, and they bite the hand. The many has shared its wisdom. They shall not leave the ship. They... they did, though. What do you say you will burn for this? I mean, maybe. Where? It's dead now. Unresearched object, huh? Psy Reaver Brain. Huh. Presumably we have to research the thing, I guess. This organ continues to pulse slowly and ooze a black fluid. Chemicals need to research RA. Well. Command. There's a chemical manifest. Radium. And radium is... Um, probably not on this deck. Well. There's something about an EMP rifle. Doesn't matter now, I suppose. The question is whether I have to research this or not, and I'm gonna assume... I'm gonna assume that we do. Running low on ammo again. Below us? No. Where are the chemicals? I don't know. But I want to research this thing. I know I found that thing somewhere. But where? I mean, we're still in the command deck. The gate is gone, but that's not... Right? Chemical manifest. I don't remember it in there. Shit, maybe it was back there. Did I miss it? Mm, as we come out here and the elevator is right there. Or... No, let's... Let's go back, I suppose. Back there. 
because I wish we could look at this other map. Wonderful. Well, wonderful. Oh, uh, hmm. That's a regular little robot. <sighs> you... I don't want your gross little organs. do not want them. <sighs> okay, well, let's go back. Maybe I just missed it on there. But I know I want radium. I wish I could see that map. But I can't. It's too late. I presume we're just like running in place really, or not running in place, but this thing's moving and we're sort of running along with it. Oh. Is it gonna come onto the thing? Again with the respawning enemies. There's a high security crate, which maybe we should just get. And escape pods. I, you know, I vaguely remember a chemical storage. I must have picked it up somewhere, but I don't see the marking for it. So let's just try, uh, you know, I guess running through these areas. It's obviously not up there. That's where the bridge is, but. Okay. That's where we went first. That sounds like a robot. Okay. Right, grenades. Oh, worms. Eh, yeah, all right. Drink it down. Drink it down. Right, I remember tossing out all those grenades. Four. Four went to here. Right, I remember... I remember this, I don't remember... any... jars of chemicals or whatever in here, though. Oh! Oh, right on. Uh, RA, right? Here we go. Right, so that's going, and now we will try and hack into the security crate, which was, I believe, a six. We couldn't do it before because it was too high security. 
But now we can. Uh, let's, there, that's a little better. Well. There you go, I suppose. Oh, did I miss this? EMP rifle, eh. That's doing its thing. We'll research it and then we'll probably just toss it. Nothing. Now that makes me happy that I found it. I don't know why we keep going off the map. Um, you know. Research complete. All right, tell me, what is it? Psy Reaver organ. You've learned how to best target the Psy Reavers and their projections for maximal damage. All damage you deal to Psy Reaver and their projections will be increased by 25%. Projections will continually regenerate themselves unless you destroy the brain structure which creates them. This is a continuously energized sample of psycho-creative residue. It is the end product of a massively complex and focused psionic projection. This residue can be temporarily disrupted but not permanently destroyed since the psionic projection can simply be recreated by the source organism. Recommendation, while the projection can be disrupted by most conventional means, this serves only as a short-term research, as a short-term solution only. Resources should not be wasted in combating this phenomenon unless it's crucial for survival. If it must be destroyed, seek out and destroy the controlling brain structure first. All right, well, good to know. Hmm. Okay. That's kind of... That Psy Reaver organ. It's like... That means we're going to fight more of them, probably. And that's not cool. Yes. I don't really want to fight more of them. I kind of, I feel like we're at the end of the game, but it, it, let me rephrase. I feel like we should be at the end of the game, but we are not. You, you, you've served me well. Transmitting cybernetic modules. Yay, Norris. A worm crawled up my arm and rested on my neck. When he whispered into my ear, I felt a tingle. He told me how to make a weapon that would help us against our enemies. And here's the thing. It's made of worms. It even fires worms. But it stings like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, I'm all right. I don't need it. Surgical unit. Now I hear what sounds like... I'll take the bullets. It sounds like a cyber assassin. And this is kind of weird because it looks like flesh. Right? Like flesh on the outside of the window, like the starship has been converted into... We must destroy the Von Braun. But before we can separate the Rickenbacker, we must remove the foul black eggs, the mess. The many have has vomited on this deck. These eggs, these eggs are an experiment of the many and will in time spawn the next generation of of, of Analid, which you will have no hope of destroying. destroying. Steal yourself for a struggle, human. They fear you, for you are my avatar. 
Well, there you go. They fear you for you are my avatar. Cool. Bayless. We arrived planetside via the shuttle on June 15th at 0800 hours. Kerenchkin was the first one out the door, never even bothering to do a level B hazard suit exam. Not wanting to let that little triumph suit get a head start, Diego went right after him. I thought it was crazy, sending the senior officers of the Rickenbacker down to the surface of an uncharted body. But both those idiots were gonna get all the glory for the UNN and try up they could. Damn. Time for inspection. What? Oh! Well... That I didn't... That I didn't expect. Let's do uh, this one. And uh, what is... Oh, I see. It's part of the thing. And there's a camera. And, yep, I hear the camera. But where? Black eggs. Can I... All right, take the armor-piercing bullets. Where is... It's over there, but I can't see it. All right, Crystal Shard. I wonder if we need to use that against the Black Eggs. Do not block. All right, so you cannot right-click on him. Good. You have destroyed the first of the eggs. But there are 15 left. Find them. 15 of them, huh? Man, where is it? There, There it is. Wait for it to. Got it. Okay. Hmm. It is almost time to stop. Oh, these are flammable. Well, don't want to try shooting that one. Just to be on the safe side. How do I get over there? Can I get over there? Also, I definitely hear that must be the third evolution of those things. Alright, well, how do I... Oh, right, right, right. I go this way. And search the corpse. Repair software not installed because it's redundant. Oh, 
Oh, hey, Rumbler. And... Yo! Bayless. The eggs were lying in a semicircle in the middle of what looked like a crash crater. There were hundreds of those things. Hundreds. And as we got close, we the eggs. The things inside them. It was like music. I was scared out of my mind. But that music. All I wanted to do was see those things up close. Find out their secrets. All right, so that is... Soldier, this is Captain William Diego. There isn't much time, so you must listen. I have the unique advantage of seeing this whole situation from every imaginable perspective. Until recently, I was a pawn of those vile and disgusting creatures, those corruptors of mind and body. I've managed to cleanse myself of their putrescence, but I've been severely compromised in the process. I'm in the sick bay on the foredeck of the Rickenbacker. I would come to you if I could, but that's an impossibility. You'll understand when we meet. Now get to it. And soldier, stay alive. Sick bay on the foredeck of the Rickenbacker. I think we're on the Rickenbacker, right? All right. And more grenades. I might... Might need to... Might be a good idea to... Grab all those heavy weapons... Things. I don't know if I can get to that dude... In time. There's more of those things. And I hear... Where are they? Okay. Oh, there is. I'm semi surprised. Okay, well. Got to, uh, come on. This was caused by an overload, overload in the Mason acceleration coil. There is another coil in part two, which, which you must pass to get to the bridge of the Rickenbacker. If you, if you approach it, the same will happen been there, but I have conceived a way to avoid this. Proceed to engine SLB. There I will provide you the benefits of my omniscience. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. That's bad. Oh, uh... I didn't ex I thought I'd be able to walk on that, not just... Wait! Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, really? I assume Karenchkin is still alive now. Wow. If he is, we're just gonna stop. Yep, there he is. Let's run up close and see what the deal is. All right. Well, okay, anyway, we're gonna end here for today. I'm a little disheartened by that, but you know, it might actually be worth um, to get the grenade launcher. I just need what one point into heavy, or do I need multiple points into heavy weapons? And if that's the case, maybe go get that grenade launcher on was it deck three and pick up all the grenades I can because they're everywhere now. Hmm. Excuse me. I mean, even if we have to ditch the laser... Do I want to ditch the laser pistol? Not really, but... 
Um, yeah, so I'd only be able to carry a couple. I could ditch the recycler, because that's not... You know, and even, like, strength and speed boosters. That would give me four different grenades, which is, like, normal. There's the blue, the red, the green, and the purple. That would be fine. It's an option. It's an option. I have 57, so I could definitely do two or three levels into the heavy weapons. Hack is still level six. Yeah. Anyway, that is it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I'm going to go feed the cat. Cats after this. Um, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? Did I mention I really hope you guys enjoy these episodes? I do, if I didn't. Um, yeah. What is your guys' unique positive moment? For me, it's the fact that, I mean, it's not, you know, I got my flu shot today, so my arm hurts. It's tender. It hurts. Eh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it does. I mean, it does. It aches. But I got in the sauna earlier, partially as you know, to hopefully avoid some of that. But it looks like it's uh, it's coming. <sighs> mm, excuse me. Um, but that is my unique positive moment. Hopefully, your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully, better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care. <laughs>